Welcome to this screencast where I'll be introducing you to the Laravel package I've developed called SendDevel for integrating with the Sended Payment Gateway. In this video, we'll explore how this package simplifies the process of incorporating Sended Payment solutions into your Laravel applications. We'll walk through the installation, setup, and some key features demonstrating how to streamline your payment processes efficiently. This assumes that you already have a fresh install of Laravel on your local machine. If not, make sure that you have a fresh install of Laravel or to an existing Laravel project on your local machine. First, let's install Sendivel. Head over to the Sendivel GitHub repository or in the packages.org and download the package. The links are provided at the description below. Let's begin by installing Sendivel. On the installation section of the docs, Copy the composer install command and paste it on your terminal. After that, you should also install the npm package called Puppeteer. This is required so your Laravel app can generate a PDF copy of the invoice, which we will discuss later. Next, you'll want to copy this environment file entries to your .env file. These include the secret, public, and webhook token keys, which you will need to generate in your Sendit dashboard. Don't worry, we will cover how to do that in a bit. You also have the option to set up Laravel Mail, which will allow you to send invoice PDFs as email attachments to your customers. Later in this tutorial, I will show you how to easily configure this feature and demonstrate sending invoices directly to your customers via email attachments. Now, it's time to publish Sendivel's config and asset files to your Laravel app. As you can see, there are a number of files that was published to your Laravel app, including Sendivel's config file, event listeners, checkout, and invoice templates. You can also publish each asset separately, as you can see right here. Now, Sendivel has a built-in route to test the checkout process, as you can see here. This is a regular Blade template that comes with each Sendivel installation. The purpose of this is that you can quickly test the checkout process without having to set up a full checkout page. In the next section, we will explore the checkout process and I will show you how easily to make payments through credit and debit cards. Let's begin by setting up our secret quiz in our Send It dashboard. On your dashboard, head over to the settings page. Then on the developer section, then API keys. Once inside the API keys page, you'll see a section called secret keys. You can generate a new secret key by clicking on the generate secret button, give the name, and make sure that you set the money in read and write permission. At the bottom, you will see the public key here. This is used during the card tokenization process send it requires to generate a single or multiple use token for card transactions. Then at the bottom, on the webhook section, you can check your webhook verification token there. These are the keys you need to set in your .env file so you could interact with Sendit's API. Let's set these keys to your .env file. Now we are ready to start testing the checkout process. Head over to your routes file for this example, I will just use the web.php file. You can also do this on your API routes file if you want. I will write the code first, then I will explain what it does later. In this example, I got a post request that points to the pay with card endpoint. Inside of this request, we will call the pay with card method of the sendDevil class. This method accepts the request data from your front end, which typically contains the card token, auth token, and the amount you want to charge. You can consult the, doc the documentation for this. And then we will call the getResponse method, so the back end will return the data from Sendit servers. Now let us test the card payment process. Sendit has a bunch of test cards which you can use to simulate different events or transactions. Let's test this card number first. 
I will give a 3,000 as the amount to be charged. Then I will paste the card number here. Then for the, for the expiration date in months and year field, you can give a future date since we are in a test environment for now and any three digit for the CVV. After clicking the charge card button, you, sh you should see the OTP dialog pops up. Since this is just a test environment, you can enter the OTP code as written on the OTP dialog page. After a successful verification, you can see this message and the OTP dialog will automatically close. Then you should see the charge card response right here. Let's go back to your send it dashboard and you should see the transaction under accept payments, credit and debit cards, then transactions. You should see the transaction here. You can click the transaction record to see more information. Using Sendevel, sending an invoice via email attachment is very simple. Go back to your routes file and before the get response function, add the email invoice to function like this. Then the first parameter should be the destination email and the second parameter should be the invoice data. Now I'm going to hard code the invoice data first. Typically in a real world scenario, this should come from your database. But for this demo, I will hard code the invoice data first. Then you should call the send method like this. So send the can dispatch the email. Don't forget to set up your mail configuration properly so the email could be sent. In my case, I am using MailPit for email testing running on my local machine. After this, let's go back to the checkout page and let's try to charge the card again. After a successful charge, you should see the email in your inbox and the invoice PDF attached to the email. Here's the example of the invoice attached to the email. This is Sandival's default invoice template. You can customize this if you want. You can change the data written on it, change the fonts, or even add images. You can consult the documentation on how to do this. You can also customize the subject of the email by using the subject method and passing the subject as a parameter like this. Let's try this out. I will perform a card charge again. After we check the email, and there you go. The subject of the email was changed to whatever you passed as a parameter. The invoice was attached as expected. Now let's try to customize the message itself. Head over back to the routes file and add the message function and specify your message like so. After testing this out once again, you will see that the email's message was changed. Now let's turn to e-wallet charges. Sendivel has a built-in method to charge your customers' e-wallets. Using Sendable's eWallet charge feature requires you to set up a webhook endpoint on your Sendit's dashboard because Sendit will send the eWallet charge status to your webhook endpoint. In order to test this on our local machine, we need a local host tunneling service so Sendit can communicate with our local machine. You can, you can use NGROC or Expose or any service you prefer. For this example, I will use Expose. 
now that we have a time tunneling service running i will need to set up a webhook endpoint on my send it dashboard i will copy my tunneling url then on send it's webhook url section under the settings page i will paste the tunneling url there Then send default webhook URL is send it slash webhook like this. Click test and save. You should see a 200 response status code. This is to confirm that send it server can reach your local machine. By the way, send webhook URL can be configured from your send config file right here. Let's go back to our routes file and let's write the code to actually make the payment via e-wallet. As you can see here, it's almost just the same as the card payment except that the function that we use is the pay with a wallet function. After this, make sure that you set up the webhook event listener. This is automatically published when you publish all Sendivel's assets from the beginning of the video. All you need to do now is to make sure that the event listeners are registered from your event service provider's file. Make sure the classes are imported and registered like this. Now we are ready to accept e-wallet charges. Let's try it right now. On the e-wallets tab, let's try 100 and click the charge with e-wallet button. This is the e-wallet charge simulation. This is meant for testing. Once you are in production mode, the screen will be changed from the test page to the payment processors page where you can complete the verification and payment. But for now, we are on test mode, so it's okay. Click the proceed to pay button and you will be supposed to be redirected to the success page. This is defined on your templates, which comes with Sandivel. You can also consult the documentation to know more. In my case, I didn't specify any success route, so the 404 response is expected. To prove that the payment went through and the webhook callback is received, I put the response in the log file. This is the response from Sendit's API. And also, if I check the exposes dashboard, I can see the webhook endpoint we set up and it's properly received. This is just the basics of what Sendivel can do. Sendivel can also send the invoice email to Q for background processing, customize the invoice template, or even make your own, publish React components for the checkout pages, etc. I plan to maintain this package as I find Send its API easy to work with. More features will be added soon, like coupon code, coupon code support, subscription services, QR code payments, direct bank debits and more. Thank you for watching.